Hey guys, just gonna do a quick walk around of this guy because you don't see them too often. So I'll do a quick walk around here and uh, just a quick little peek at her. This is one that I really have always liked. Wanted to see in person. 100 horsepower. Get your 30 inch Swamp Forest tires on there. Pretty awesome tire, actually. Pretty interested in these because they got a nice deep lug. Catch the mud. Got some uh, self cleaning pattern in there as well. You don't have the V in the middle, so they're good for. Gonna be pretty darn good for the trails too. They'll, they'll flick it up pretty good, but for a tire that's gonna be great both ways, it's pretty awesome actually. So yeah, you got this instead of going and getting the alternate to a sport version XMR and going with the Defender, which is still a great machine, but you wanna keep that sport feel, just like a XMR or a XRC X series uh, package or XXC. You can get the Commander now, which is pretty much, you know, it's long, the longer wheelbase instead of the old short Commander wheelbase. So you're up to 90 inches there. 15 inches of ground clearance on this guy. Like, pretty, pretty awesome spec sheet for a crossover kind of, you know, both, both sides of the, the spectrum here for work, utility versus sport. You still have the great sporty feel inside. And uh, I mean, you even got turf mode on this. You got the locking diff, smart lock. You got mud mode, electronic key. It's like a really nicely finished machine inside out. All black inside. And of course you got uh, the awesome snorkel system, which is really good on these guys. It's a fully done system. Everything's done properly in this, in this case. You got the PCU trap for this one, but then you got the box which is a huge handle here the box rolls back you got pretty good access to all kinds of things your heat shields heat plates spring assisted you see the lines going up there radiator stuff back here up high so everything's pretty well thought out in this machine pretty heavy duty pretty bulky at the back and then when you close this guy down, you have the back end of this guy. I'll be putting a bumper down there for sure, but the box is up so nice and high that you're not really gonna tag too many things up high like this. As long as you're a good driver and you know what's behind you before you back up. It's got a nice size box. Look at that tailgate. It's just perfect, super easy. Fit and finish in these guys is, is huge compared to the old commanders. Just awesome. Super sturdy back end there. So they didn't go with any fancy shocks on this. For an X series, they pretty much all do have nicer shocks. These are just your regular shocks. They do have some adjustment, but why they did that, I don't know if it was for price point or if it was because of going in the mud and exposing them so deep in the mud. Maybe this was a better route to take for longevity. I don't know, to be honest, hard to say. Um, so here we got 11 wide on the back, nine on the front. But yeah, just a nice juicy tire to, to hit both sides of the mud and then going to the trails. And so overall, I think they did a really, really good job on this. You got your arched day arms up front. You got your rad. That's one thing too, is you can get to this radiator. Do you unclip this and wash down low on it, which is nice. Now you're a little blocked up here, but I believe this all pops out. Then you can actually tag into a little bit more there. The bumper's integrated all the way inside the hood. It's got a nice mean look on the front. And then of course, you got your winch way up now which is pretty awesome so usually down here so when you're sitting usually getting winched out you're you know up to i mean on average around your tire height or whatever so you're not reaching underwater everything's up here nice and high it's pretty awesome you got your nice led lights all in there 
but just what a what a cool sport package for that type of machine like nice beefy tough look so i'm gonna check it out and jump inside real quick so obviously it's gonna sound just like the um like the all the x series sport model mavericks here it's gonna have the same 100 horsepower motor v-twin and i'm not used to that that's the stock exhaust which is a little different looking than than the other sports series because of the way it sits underneath the bed but um it's actually pretty quiet it's definitely a quieter machine so we're going to take it for a little little u-turn out here just i just want to hear it and see how these tires roll on the cement go from there just check her out all right so here we go so i'm just going to go here and uh two-wheel drive just get a feel of it while i get soaked real quick You can see that clutch engagement is crazy smooth compared to the other guys. Maybe it's a new clutch system in there. They got the P rollers going. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you right away instantly here. The tires on here are super smooth on the on the pavement. It's amazing that they're that aggressive of a mud tire at the same time. It's a pretty killer deal. So it's BRP's uh, own version of their tire on here, the Swamp Force, so you'd have to order through them. I think I might give her a go and uh, try set just for fun on my XMR quad. Definitely, definitely quieter. God, the power steering in this is just amazing. So, so, so smooth. But I would def definitely say a lot quieter. Way quieter driving, but I also got the Yoshi exhaust on ours and that makes it louder for sure. But for some reason, it's just the placement of the engine or something with the bed the way it's all set up it's definitely quieter but we don't have the roof on too it just it just seems quieter everything's popping in the smoke and getting warmed up for the first time here almost what a great machine i'm blown away i knew i would be though just reading all the specs and aesthetics and looks of this and everything are pretty darn awesome other than that, just check out my reviews of all the other Sport Mavericks or XMR. It's pretty much a lot of the same drivetrain and, and stuff. This one does have the turf mode, which is cool. Got the front end. The Commander front end I like better than the Sport guys. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Same comfort as usual. Same awesome doors. Extra fender guards for the mud. We're still going to get a bit. Not too much though, the back's pretty covered. The front's gonna get you a little bit, but hey, if you're going to the mud anyways, you're gonna get it. I would definitely get this over Defender any day, just because I don't really use anything solely for work, but I do love the, the cargo space and the bed space to bring all kinds of other things for different kind of riding. You know, if you want to stay and have lunch and barbecue or hang out and extra coolers, extra gear to get people out of the mud for the brakes and everything and extra tools, this is it. I mean, with the crazy tires that Jimmy and Kevin are getting, somebody's got to follow them and bring them axles every day. <laughs> 